Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a tumbler wrap design in Canva that you could sell on Etsy. If you go to Etsy and type in tumbler wrap, there are, you know, people are selling tumbler wraps every day there. Bestseller, popular, popular, popular. And if you go into Allura, which is a, uh, Etsy tool to help you find, you know, help you do research and find popular keywords and products and stuff. And I put Tumblr wrap PNG in my search over here. And I'm coming up with, let me slide this over. We have shops here that are showing up doing well over a thousand dollars a month in revenue just from, you know, one Tumblr design. So, you know, the, there's money to be made creating uh, Tumblr wraps for sublimation. So I'm going to show you really quickly how you can uh, make one in Canva and then uh, save it and upload it and sell it on Etsy. All right. The first thing we're going to do is in Canva, we're going to create a new design and it's going to be a custom size and mine's already filled in here it's going to be make sure you change your dimensions to inches and you're going to make it 9.3 inches wide by 8.2 inches tall and we're going to click create new design now when you're you know creating your design um, you have to make sure that you have the right uh, commercial licenses for the images and uh, graphics and elements you're using in your design. Um, I get almost all of my uh, elements and uh, backgrounds and things of that nature from uh, Creative Fabrica. Uh, they have you know you can buy pieces individually you can uh, they also sell a membership so you can have unlimited downloads now um, you know one thing to keep in mind is almost everything if you're selling if you're planning to use it for a digital product you have to alter it in some way so you know you can't just download you can't just purchase uh, a file and then turn around and sell it again in the same way you know you have to change it so it's different than the original so you know and the easy way to do that is combine things you know you might buy uh, backgrounds from one person and you might buy floral elements from another person and um, animal elements from another person and once you start combining those into another design into a unique uh, design then that becomes yours and it's okay to sell that so just keep those little things in mind when you are creating um, for this I'm not gonna worry too much about um, you know what I'm using because this is just for a demonstration uh, the first thing I'm gonna do though is go to my uploads because I did have here we go I brought in some uh, nice watercolor backgrounds that I like. So I am gonna set one in as my background here, just this uh, pretty like watercolor with gold veins in it. And then I'm gonna go to elements and I think I'm gonna search for torn paper. Let's see what we get here. So this is just something really simple I wanna do quick. Um, let me grab this one and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees so it's going up and down and then I'm going to enlarge it and I'm going to make sure I place that right in the center okay and then I think I am going to edit it Should we? nope let's leave it white I think white looks best. All right, and now we're just going to add some text to it. Let's make this real simple. Live, laugh, 
love. We're going to turn that 90 degrees. And we are going to enlarge that so it fits right in the middle of this design here. All right, and there we go. This is a completed uh, tumbler wrap. It's nothing fancy, but it shows you how quickly that you can do this. Just taking different elements and pieces and putting them together and getting a really nice design. Um, let's do one more. Let's see what we want to do in here. Um, let's look spring. Okay. And you can do, uh, yeah, let's do this one, this color here. We got the green and the blues. And now I am going to go back to spring graphics and I'm just going to take this with the daffodils and the tulips and I'm going to line that up along the bottom of my background and what can we do well, here let's just put hello spring right in the center there. Make that a little bigger so it would wrap more around your tumbler. And there you go. There's another one. This is, you know, spring themed. But um, that's how easy it is to create uh, designs. Um, we can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. We can come down here and put peeps in if we wanted to. You know, it's just, there's so many different ways you can do this. And um, it's, you know, it, it, there's just so many different things you can do. And it's all uh, really easy to do it in Canva. So I just wanted to show you that, that you can make these designs super fast. There, we changed that up and now it's a completely different um, let's put, can put a couple bees on this, duplicate them, we can flip them, what am I doing here, flip up here, flip horizontal, there we go, our little bees. And we can, again, add some text now. Let's do uh, be happy. Make that nice and big. Move it where you want it. little bees around if you want to and there there's a, a completed design okay so now you can simply download these now I recommend um, downloading them as a PDF file your if you're selling it digitally your users are going to be printing it so you want it to be um, the highest quality possible. You want it to be at least, you know, 300 DPI and um, in Canva, uh, a JPEG or a PNG does not download at 300 DPI. I believe theirs is for a PNG file. I believe it downloads at something like 182 DPI. So you always want to make sure you download this as a PDF. Once you have it saved as a PDF, you can then uh, open it up in any number of programs and then save it as a PNG file or a JPEG, whatever you want. Um, I personally prefer uh, to keep it PDF for printing. Um, it is, you know, it will be the, uh, 
it will have the highest uh, resolution. Um, here we have it. I can blow it up and you can see that even at 300 times it still is really crisp and clean. So that's how you design a Tumblr wrap and how you save it and then you can just you know upload it to your Etsy shop and whatever you want to do with it. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time.